Matter, as discussed in the previous episodes, is made up of atoms, and an atom is composed of protons, neutrons, and orbiting electrons. Protons and electrons have an electric property represented by electric charge, while the neutrons do not. For magnetism, the story is a bit different as all atoms' elements, protons, electrons, and even the neutrons, have a magnetic property represented by magnetic charge, or in other words, magnetic moment. The magnetic moment is generated due to the element spinning. But hold on for a second. Do the proton and neutron spin or even have the ability to move? Has not been mentioned that these two elements are stationed in their posts. Well, the movement of protons and neutrons are classified under particle physics, and that topic shall be introduced in the upcoming series. But the element that we care about now is the electron and its mobility. The electron and due to its mobility around itself generates a torque in a form of weak electricity current, producing a magnetic moment in a form of magnetic field, and that's what gives rise to magnetism. Electron's mobility happens in two forms, around atom's nucleus and around itself, similar to how the Earth orbits around the Sun and itself. Furthermore, the electron may spin around itself in two directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. The magnetic moment generated due to the electron's orbit around the atom's nucleus is too small comparing to the element's intrinsic magnetic moment produced due to its spinning around itself. So the nucleus's magnetic moment could be neglected as it will not be considered for this series. As a result, we can conclude that the atom has electric energy stored in its protons and electrons, creating an electric field, as well as magnetic energy stored in its electrons, creating a magnetic field. In the next episode, the concept of magnetic field will be introduced, so ensure that you're subscribed and click the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you next week.